For my next adventure, I'd head over to Spain and go in search of brilliant biking roads and historic towns and places in the gorgeous Andalusia region. So here in Malaga in the south of Spain, I've just come down to Hispania Tours, picked up an awesome BMW, and now we're gonna go and hit the hills and find some awesome roads. Let's get to it. After leaving Hispania Tours, I was soon leaving Malaga and the busy traffic behind me. Now, I would take the road network to Andalusia, my gateway to brilliant roads and scenery. The A7000 is a fun ride as it climbs up into the mountains in a series of non-stop twists and turns that leave you wondering if it can get any better. But then it does, with a couple of looping corners that are just incredible. Wow, what a road and a great start to my weekend adventure. But then as we climbed higher and into the clouds, the weather started to change. So we popped in for some lunch. I don't really know what I ordered, but apparently this is uh, very traditional in this local area. Bread crumbs, chorizo, blood sausage, pork. Well, <laughs> bon appetit. You know, it's definitely different. <laughs> After a somewhat weird lunch, and then jump back on the BMW and continue to climb higher. This time, I would ride towards one of the famous white towns of Andalusia that I would come across. These authentic white towns and villages are scattered all around southern Spain. And even in these dreary conditions, the rustic Spanish buildings and white walls still stood out from the natural surroundings. Continuing further up the road and I would literally ride into the clouds. Now visibility is getting worse and it's getting colder and wetter by the mile. Also these old remote mountain roads are very slippery when wet, so much care and caution was needed at this moment. But this is why I was climbing higher and higher, as I'd come to see these dramatic natural limestone rock formations, as they're one of the most impressive karstic landscapes in all of Europe. Wow, they're a spectacular sight all right, but in this thick fog, it's also quite eerie up here. So we're here in El Torcal. This is just outside a town called Antiquera. We're high up in the mountains of the Andalusia and unfortunately this weather is ruining our gorgeous vista and also the brilliant roads that we're riding. But what's here are incredible rock formations. We're high up right in the clouds. It's a miserable day at the moment. So we're just trying to get out 
of this weather soon and we'll head down to some better weather. We'll enjoy these rock formations while we're here, it is incredible. Anyway, riding a bike, you're out in the elements, so the most important thing is that you gear up properly. I've got adventure gear on, I've also got a rain suit over the top just to keep that extra temperature in my body. Real crucial when you're riding in these conditions. If there's one lesson to be learned is gear up properly, be ready for anything. Now dropping out of those clouds and my visibility improved, but unfortunately these wet roads didn't. However, I wasn't going to let a bit of rain ruin the day, so I still had a load of fun splashing through the drizzle. But what a shame it's wet though, as these are perfect biking roads and we're just surrounded by gorgeous countryside. Let's just keep our fingers crossed and hope for better weather tomorrow. I'd arrive in Ronda at the end of the day, which is another white town and probably the most famous of them all. As this town sits on the edge of a deep gorge and the views from up here are just spectacular. My bed for the night will be at a biker friendly guest house, nestled in vineyards just outside of Ronda and now run by an old friend of mine. It provided a warm welcome to what had mainly been a wet and cold day. Oh well, now let's get down to that local restaurant, get a feed and warm up a bit. It was great catching up with my old buddy Stuart and those local meats were definitely a big thumbs up. But if you thought that meat looked good, dessert was a good old English favourite. Sticky toffee pudding. Mm. Oh my god. Oh yes. It was a tasty end to the day. Tonight, I would sleep well. The next morning, the sun was out shining and the drums beating. It was a positive start to the day. That miserable weather from yesterday was the furthest thing from my mind, especially when Stuart welcomed me with a beautiful breakfast hamper to start the day. 
Look at this, this is breakfast. Come on, what you got in here then, bud? Uh, fresh like croissants, uh, baguettes, fresh fruit, homemade yogurt, juices, serrano ham. I think I can fit this on my bike. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool for it. Oh, brilliant, fantastic. Well, thank you. Wonderful. Where do you recommend that we eat? Just out here by the pool? Why not? Look at that, come on. What a brilliant place, had a fantastic meal last night, great accommodation. If you're anywhere near Rhonda, definitely come and stay here. Today we're gonna go visit historic Rhonda, and then we're gonna head up to Lake Zara, and then apparently one of the best motorcycling roads around here. So we can't wait, let's get to it. After a tasty breakfast, it was then time to say see you later to an old friend and then get back on the road. But what a great place La Perla Blanca Guest House had been to stay. And as it's motorcycle friendly and located right in the heart of brilliant biking roads, it's highly recommended. Now armed with local knowledge, I would take to the back roads to see the famous town of Ronda and this dramatic gorge. It was a fun trail, and eventually, I will come out right beneath the bridge. It was a wonderful sight, and no wonder that this town is one of the most visited in the Andalusia region. After the beauty of Rhonda, I would now go and ride some fun and twisty roads. As up next, I would go and visit one of the most scary walkways in the world.
The El Caminito del Rey is a stunning sight, as this narrow path just hangs off the side of the gorge in El Choro. It's no wonder this walkway is so famous and considered to be the most dangerous footpath in the world. So it's lunchtime and we've just popped into a local cafe here. We have some pork, some chicken, patatas bravas, some local ham, tapas style. Let's get stuck in. The scenery around here, spectacular. After a quick tapas pit stop, it was then back on the road and this time to ride one of the best roads around here, the road to Gradeslema. It's another famous white village that's high up in the valley and there's nothing but fantastic biking roads to get there. And according to my friend Stuart, there's also a gorgeous cake shop that awaits in town. So let's get to it and go ride. Oh, what great roads. That was just brilliant. But as I was running low on gas as I approached Gradas Lema, I was thankful to find this gas station and tank up. Oh, now that's done. Let's go and find that cake shop. Stuart told us about this cake shop. We're here. Gorgeous, fresh, baked goods. The baker's in the back. Let's go and check him out and see what he's up to. The finished product. Mm. Mm. <laughs> My new best friend. Con. Cream bun pit stop. <laughs> Leaving town, having made a new friend and with a belly full of cake, I would now start to head back towards Malaga. But of course. I'd only get there by riding more brilliant biking roads. And while riding through Andalusia's network of fantastic biking roads, I discovered more of these shimmering white villages as they just appeared from the natural landscape. Then, just as some rain gently drizzled down on my windscreen and visor, a gorgeous double rainbow appeared. This was the perfect ending to a brilliant weekend in the Andalusia Mountains. A massive thumbs up to this region, 
as it's just littered with amazing motorcycling roads and spectacular scenery. I'll definitely be back. This is the man, this is the man. This is the man. Go back that way. <laughs> no, go back that way. <laughs> Stuart. Stuart. What time is it? <laughs>